Hello, I'm Salada. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Last time I taught you how to remove the parts of the binomial cube and place them on the control of error. You will probably have been working a lot with this material in your classroom and so today we're not going to use the control of error directly but we'll put it off to the side just to make sure that we lay it out correctly. I'm going to teach you the names of the binomial cube. We can see that this is a cube. All of the sides are of equal dimensions. The length, the width, and the height. The three dimensions are the same. We will call this one A cubed. And this is how we write A cubed. This piece is A squared, but the third dimension is the same as B. So we will call this one A squared B. This is how we write A squared B. This piece is also A squared B. And you can see that this piece is also A squared B. This piece is the same dimension here and here. So we're going to call this B, this dimension. This is B squared A. We don't say B squared A, we say AB squared. This one's also AB squared. This one is also AB squared. And of course, this one is the cube, the length, the width and the height are all the same, but it's a second dimension, so we call it B, we call it B cubed. Now, when we create the algebraic formula for A plus B cubed, which is the cube here, um, we add things together. We can see that we have only one A cubed, but we have one, two, three a squared b. We have one, two, three a b squared. And we have one b cubed. Now to write the formula for the cube, we say a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. Next time, in our next lesson, I will teach you how to input numeric values for the variables of a and b. If you like this lesson, please click like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.